Yo, 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 bro. Fourth episode, man. Chilling with Square, man. We got in the building. <laughs> hey, last week. Hey, she she was booked up last week, it's man. She was booked. She was booked up last <laughs> week, so we had to push it back, reschedule. But she made it since she popped up. She gonna pop up shit with me today for sure, man. Man, go on, introduce yourself, man. So I'm trying to really highlight your baby. No, y'all already know it's MK the motherfucking beast, car care rock star, Jason PC. All right, see, hey, she's from the Jack. A lot of y'all ain't know she was from the Jack. Well, tell what part of the Jack you from, too. I'm from South Jacks. You see that? Jack, Savannah Street. See that? Yeah, Savannah a lot Street of people X. ain't even know that <laughs> shit, man. Uh-uh. But, man, we finna get into this shit, because I ain't going to lie. I'm kind of excited to highlight you, man. You got you got all these followers. I ain't never talking about it from Mississippi with all these goddamn followers and shit like that, man. So I feel like you the star, and I'm, and I'm <laughs> hey, I'm WLBT, you the star. You know what I'm saying? Too, so dude. check this out. Check this out, man. How did she get started, man? Well, like, I've like, really been viral. Yeah. I've been viral on Facebook. I went viral with Big Old Freak when he first, before he even got known. Oh, for That's what a lot of people don't know. Man, Megan should be cutting the check yeah. for you. I had like 2.3 views on her on Facebook, but I wasn't just popping. So I just so happened to be going down the road back home because I'm originally from Lauderdale County, yeah. down there in Meridian. Yeah. So I'm just going down the road like, man, this song, this shit just bumping like the cuffy remix. Yeah. So I just put it on. I had been having a video for about a, what, a good three weeks maybe, and I just decided to post it. What made you to post it? I just was like, man, this shit jamming everybody else on the trend. Let me just go on and post it. Just see <laughs> yeah. you know what it'll do. Yeah. Man, I'm going to wrap that motherfucker on Facebook. It just started going off. Then I put it on Instagram, and it started going viral, then it stopped. But that second round, when it came back around, that when everybody started following me. For and real? I just started doing them in the car, doing the videos in the car, and just, just were repetitive. Man. Over and over. So check this out. When you would, when that first celebrity, when you did them, you were doing them R&B songs and all that shit, I'm going to tell you like this. How old you is? You ain't got to say. I'm 26. You're 26? Yeah. I, I would have thought you were about 30 something, because you, yeah. you know these 90 songs. Yeah. You on these 90 I R&B songs. See that you don't need 90 <laughs> R&B songs. I would have thought you were about 33, yeah. something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm an R&B person, though. Like, I, anything that mellows me out, that's yeah. what I want to listen to. Yeah. I don't listen to a lot of rap, but if I do, it got to be stuff like uh, Primo Rice. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, so you like, you like, like that vibe and shit. Vi- yeah, he can vibe yeah, to yeah. yeah, yeah. And anything else other than that, I mean, I do listen to other stuff, but R&B is what I'm going to. Already, already. But so... When you got that first, who the first celebrity that, that reposted you? If I can think, the first celebrity, the first celebrity to repost me. I really don't know. I can't remember, but I have came in contact with JT, Monica. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Hamilton reposted me. Coco Jones reposted me. Trina reposted me. Damn. Um, that's why I miss my Instagram so much. Yeah. But uh, it's plenty more people, too, but I just can't. Oh, uh, I had an uh, NBA player. WNBA player uh, post me, Mimi. Yeah. I, on my new Instagram, I had a WWE person post me. So I know a I'm WWE. out. A WWE. Yeah. I know oh, I'm out a, here. A, a wrestler. I a wrestler. I had a wrestler post me. I know man, I'm out come here. Man, you, you pass out here. <laughs> yeah. I just need a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that money coming. Yeah. I'm glad that money coming. So well, check this out. When you were getting all that, them celebrity reposting you and all that stuff, man, like how did how did your, you just knew your world from the chain? I just knew that it was, it was um, more so uh, crossover. Like, people like me deserve to be here. No. Why shouldn't I? Yeah. Like, I get on the internet. I literally get on there and post a video and get out. I don't do it for to see what people going to say. I do it because people be inboxing me on the back end saying, bro, you don't know how bad you be making my day. And it be like real get money niggas. Thugs, you know, the people that yeah. y'all be seeing on the street. Yeah. <laughs> They be shaking me up, dapping me up, bro. You make my day. I be singing with you. Like, that made me feel a way to know hardcore dudes Oh yeah. deal with my stuff. Regardless of who you are, what how shape, what color you is, that made me feel good. Yeah. To know you just want to see me in the car singing a song. Singing a song. Man, I'm still over here <laughs> made about this damn WWE. God damn, man. That shit dope as fuck. Yeah, it is. And it make you feel good. Like, when you do, when you do good shit, it make you feel good. Regardless yeah. of. Who see it, who don't see it? Like, Already, man. So you just at the you getting out how your life like well, how your life was like you were sitting down and this person would post you like what you do? Like you jumped up, you grab like, your phone. I just be like, damn, bro, oh my God. Like I just jump for joy. Like this person re- I just replied like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
That's how you yeah, reply? Yeah, I be like, what the fuck? OMG. Like, I love Trina. Yeah. I love her. Killing you hoe. I know that shit word <laughs> for word. <laughs> My sister had me growing up out there, so yeah. that's what I, you know, that's what I know. So just for you know to have idols coming on my stuff, it just made me feel good. Cause they don't have to do that. Just like mm. I don't have to post a video. Oh yeah. I don't try to make it seem like I'm up it, but hell I can be. Yeah, shit, you might as well. Pop <laughs> I might as well be. Might as well be. Pop I mean, your shit. shit. At the end of the day, I give people that access, but yeah. it's more so like you don't appreciate it. Yeah. So therefore, like when I do see them coming, it just boosts me back. Ooh, wee, bro. Man, that shit's so dope. Yeah. When I seen Monica post it on her page, bro, and I ain't know, like, I didn't know you from Jackson. You right. know what I'm saying? Then everybody like, man, she from Jackson. And she you know Jackson. what? I just thought about who the first person who posted me. Who? Uh, it was a, a real love. Um, it's, It was a housewife. Yeah. She's married to an NBA player. Oh, so, M, so NBA housewife, one she of them? Had post, yeah, she had posted me on her um page, actually. Yeah. And all the other Wise was coming. Uh, Shawnee followed me. Oh, yeah. She was following me as well. And all them was under there coming, Jennifer and stuff. It just, man, it was crazy. It's it was crazy, crazy. man. <laughs> so let's talk about your your last Instagram. See, right now, you probably be in man, California somewhere. In California you probably somewhere. be in California somewhere. The farthest I'd have been, though, was Washington, D.C. Yeah. So that was a big step. So I loved it. So I somebody paid it. you to get out there? Yeah. See, though? Man, yeah, that and that's what, but guess what, though? That was right around the time I lost my Instagram. I was sick as a dog. See, that shit, man. Motherfucker don't understand what Instagram See, do, I was finna get on Big O. And um, shout out to Tay. Um, He's well known on there. He was get, gonna get my stuff verified for me. Yeah. You know, that it's ways to get verified that we don't know about. Yeah. Um, So, I was looking forward to the email or whatever to come. But I had something uh pop up in my, and that's another thing. Emails, I rarely open them just because of this. I must have opened it, and you know how your face recognition on your password. I must have did that, and it had automatically logged me in. But, hell, two minutes after that, I couldn't log in my shit. So I'm like, what the fuck? They done got me. So I text my friends um, <laughs> that I was telling you about, Maya and Fagan. Yeah. We had a little chat. I called them my E2 housewives because yeah. they, they act like I'm their man. Yeah. So. <laughs> I must have got on there and sent them a mention. I'm like, bro, I can't get in my shit. I think I just got hit. Man, them, they, them hours were rolling by. I was at work. I was sick, squirrel. I was sick as a like, dog. I wanted to get out the line. That's when I was at Nissan. Yeah. Man, wow. all of a sudden, I get a text wow. message out the blue the next day. Um, It's going to be 500 on WhatsApp. It's going to be $500 to get your Instagram back. Oh, my mama, you can keep that hoe. Mm, keep that hoe. You can keep that hoe. I said... I'm going to run it back up. Don't worry about it. I had set off Instagram for a minute, but then I had ended up um, remaking me a new one. Yeah. And I think, matter of fact, that same video went viral again. It went viral again. And this it got even more clout than it had then. And yeah. I ain't even found that many people now. Bitch. So that's why I love my new Instagram. No e don't open no more email. I ain't opening shit. Man, they got to email another page, <laughs> uh, another phone you or something. E your manager or something, a letter you or something. send me a letter. Man, don't open no more email. <laughs> I don't open none of them. That's what's up, man. But, man, we fin I do these interviews to let, let your fans know the real you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want the fans that, that know, like, she... She a regular person just like everybody right. else. You know what I'm saying? We regular people. You right. know what I'm saying? We, uh -huh. we, yeah, we got the name. We got the little popularity and shit like that. But we still regular people. Yeah, we still regular people. Nine to five people. So, man, we're going to kick it out like this, man. What, what shocked me, you know what I mean? I ain't going to we're gonna, I ain't gonna get to that yet, but yeah, we all know you're in that community. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right I now, know. today's society, the community is strong, and they, they got all these rights, and they everything going on for the community. Right. Name changing, all this. <laughs> yeah. So, man, what 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 is you? Is you a her, him, other? You know what I'm saying? What I is you? I classify as a she. And why you, a and, girl. yeah, why you do that? I mean, well, I'm comfortable with who I am. I've always been like that. Yeah. I've never wanted to be nothing that I'm not. I just feel this is what, what you see in front of you, this is what I'm comfortable in. <sighs> I, all that, I mean, I still act like me. Yeah. I, you can see I'm just over yeah. here acting like me. I just, if I was to put on a dress, and look at myself, I'd be so mad. I hated wearing a dress. I used to cry about wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Literally cry. Get my hair done. My mama get my hair done every week. My hair stayed done. I had yeah. long, beautiful hair. <laughs> I used to get my nails done every week. Yeah. Take them right off midday. I just can't. I couldn't do it. But me being me, that's that's just who I am. Like, 
I love being a girl. Yeah. I just can't get with the jiggy with the girl stuff. You can't, <laughs> you can't get yeah, jiggy with it. I just can't get jiggy with it. Like, yeah. I, I have that my moments where I'm girl, but my woman see that more so than the outside world. Just because of the simple fact, we the reason why we act the way we do, and I'm going to say we because I, I represent everybody. So regardless so. of... How the next person carry themselves or what they say, I represent you regardless of how you feel. Yeah. So I'm going to say we. We feel the need to act so tough. And why, me personally, this is my personal opinion. Yeah. Because we have so many people that think that's what we want to be. So it comes off defensive when people be like, you always trying to act like this. No. This sometimes this all we know. This what we like. This what we love. I'm not. I've never been a mama's girl. My sister a mama girl. I, I was a daddy's girl. Yeah. So. Being around my daddy, seeing him work on cars when he was a lad, because my daddy died when I was 14. Seeing him work on cars, put plugs in cars, that's the type of stuff I was interested in doing with my hands. Yeah. I like to do stuff with my hands. So I just, I always just had that masculine and feminine balance. Like, it's just never been on one side. Man, that's what's up, shit. <laughs> See, I ain't gonna lie, I was scared to ask you. I ain't know if you were gonna, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm getting personal. Just, yeah, yeah, you know. Just the, it's just more so of understanding people that's different from you. And it's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Like, you have some people that can't even sit on the couch this close to me because they just so ignorant. Yeah. And that's what causes the world to clash when it comes to homosexuals and straight people. Yeah. Because they f- people feel like that we push us up. On, no, we don't. Y'all push y- Y'all the really be interested and want to know and just want eggs. I ain't, yo, you right. You because right. at the end of the day, nobody, I seen a comment on uh, Facebook earlier on a, the show BMF where it was a, a gay scene. All you had to do was turn the TV off. Yeah. You ain't have to sit there and watch it, and it probably wasn't long. But that just likes great stuff. I don't watch that. I don't even watch gay porn. I don't like none of it. <laughs> <laughs> so why you don't like it? Like, I, it just, you just, it, yeah, it yeah. Just, I mean, what does that do for me? I can go do that to my woman and she, you know. Yeah, yeah. It just. It just goes to show that don't be pushing stuff out there that you don't know. Yeah, like, how a lot you know of people, we like to watch? Yeah, yeah, because they, they, they stay saying, a lot of people stay saying they pushing the agenda. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And but, I'm going to be real. I, I ain't going to lie. And it might be off the radar, but I'd rather watch two men doing the two women. And it's crazy. <laughs> but they're just being real. Right, you, like, hey, you being I real. Like you being you real. Know, I don't like watching it. I don't like watching it. I would prefer to watch them than watch it's just being right. real. You being real yeah. as fuck. You know, God. <laughs> and hey. I ain't the only one like that. I done had conversation with this with plenty of people. Plenty of them. Yeah. Like telling me that. So I don't feel no. Hey, she keep it 100, <laughs> y'all. She is keeping this shit 100. But uh hey. check this out, man. You got a little one. I want to know how did it come from you or somebody had it for you no, or I'm what? Like, like I laid on my back. You laid on your back. I laid on my back. <laughs> I, 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 you laid on your back. Uh, you laid on your back. So what? Yeah. What is? What is it? You, you, you. I ain't, hold on. Let me try to get it out. You laid on your back because you, you wanted to, or you liked this person, or I, it was more so the person. More so the person. Yeah, cause I didn't. I don't like me. I just so happened to like his DAD. So I'm a spell, so you can know. What yeah, I'm yeah, saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had ended up meeting at a GAY club. Hold on, so I right, check this out. What's the GAY club? Oh, oh, hold on. Oh shit, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Oh, it threw me out. It threw me out. It threw me out for a minute. Yeah. I, I, oh, the little one, the little yeah. one here. So we, yeah, we talk. Y'all, sorry, y'all gonna think I'm slow, <laughs> but it threw me. It threw me out for yeah. a second. I'm tripping. So I'm tripping. Yeah. He thought I was a dude, and I thought vice versa. I thought he was female. So if I showed you a picture of him, you you would think that as well. So long story short, I I do exotic dancing. See, a lot of people don't know that. I'm going to talk to you about that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> so, I done seen you in the club. Hey, I, I done seen it. Yo. So when I was, uh, I had this little gig in Hattiesburg. It was called Skin. So you show Skin. When I had first seen him, him and his homegirl, they was hollering. So I'm like, damn, that's a fine nigga. These bitches fine. These bitches, bitches fine. These bitches fine and bad. But I had never, even though that was my, my environment, I had never been around trans, you know, trans, Chinese trans. Yeah, people. yeah. So I didn't know no different. So I had, when we had got, you know, to talking, I was like, you going to watch my show? He was like, yeah. Come to find out, he, on down the line, he never watched my show, so he didn't know what I was. 
But at the end of the night, I had went and told my friends. I was like, man, I just got this bad bitch number, which I ain't get. I, he didn't give me his number. That just how cocky he was. Yeah. He was like, you can get my Instagram, and I'll get your number. I put my number in his phone. He ain't even called me the next day. It took days. For the nigga to even text me. Bro, he played you like that. He played that. me. So, by the end of the night, I went to my friend. I'm like, man, I got this bad bitch number. They were like, who, who? I like China over there in the, in the room. They were like, oh, yeah, she bad. They were like, she bad. They knew. Yeah, they knew. But they oh, were why like, they, they want to tell they you? They told me. They were like, oh. but that ain't no girl. I'm like, what? Y'all lying. So, after the night, I went to, you know, hassle them again, trying to get the number he didn't want to get to. So, a couple days after that, he finally, you know, Shot me text. Now, I had an old lady. Yeah. I had an old lady. But being that my birthday had came around, and I was young, too, and we were talking, me, me and him, it was so complicated, but I had ended up leaving with my girlfriend because she just abandoned me the next day. It was just so weird. But I say it wasn't nothing but God's time. Hold on. So. Why she abandoned you? She just left? She just left. She, she, but. To come to find out, the girl that was my current best friend had told her, quote unquote, she wanted to spend time with me for the day. Oh. But it's kind of like, you gonna take what she's saying over what I'm saying? So, long story short, I had ended up going down there to meet with him, and it was my first time. And from that point on, we just. So, the first time, first time? No, no. Oh, not oh, first oh, time. oh, 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 I finna say. I finna break down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I had ended up going to Hattiesburg. And that, my first time being in his house was my first time. And we was in bed, and it was, you know how it be. Yeah. And I was just like, if you want to just come out and get it. Because <laughs> I was just, I just, I was just, I was just, I was just infatuated with a human being that could be so pretty but be a man. And I never looked at him as a man. And I tell people that all the time. Damn. I never did. And that was just, he was just him. I never looked at him. When I looked at him, I, I saw my person. I never seen right. Jimmy. So after that, did, did y'all do it other couple more times? Yeah, we were together then. I had oh. never, we was together. Like, he had, it had a, a breaking point to where he did abandon me for like a week, but I had a girl that was because I had a girl. Yeah. But after that, we was together, like, nonstop. Like, I had moved down there every time. That's crazy. Like yeah. I ain't never heard no story we like never, this. We never parted from each but other. He, and he treated you like you was dominant and he would defeat. Whatever way we wanted it to go. For real? Yeah. Best of all world. How the fuck? Yeah. That's, that got to be best of all world. It, it ain't nobody it. looking at each other different no. or nothing. And and when we would be out, people would actually call him ma'am and me sir. That's just how, you know. That's how that shit go. That, well, it's not. It I ain't going to say how it how go, go, but, but that's just what that, people that's, thought. That's, 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 basically, that's what y'all wanted. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, y'all didn't want so nobody we, looking at y'all different. That's just, how y'all wanted. Yeah. We just were cool. You know, whatever came out your mouth, that's what we were going to do. Because it was just more so bigger to the point where I, you all I see. It don't even matter what these folks were saying. Folks say, yep. You know. Look and see. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he's not my, he's not actually not my first child. Well, yeah, I have I had a child, but I, I lost it. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. child actually fell out of me in the shower. So what? With, yeah, with me and my husband at home. So that you was try that shit again. We try it again. Might as well. Boom. Shit, you might as well. And then a lot of people think that you get pregnant on the first time. No, it took yeah. me like a year, and then after that happened, it took me like it took me like a couple months. So what? But I could say like he knew that I was pregnant before I even did. Is it is it planned? Was it planned? Yeah, it was planned. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's what's up. I don't. You give me a sec. Okay. The you little the little one here, y'all too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bash the little, up in here, y'all. The little, yeah, the little sit one here back, too. Sit down. But down. uh, check this out. Check this out. So let's talk about you carrying this baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you still you still rocking the J's yeah. and shit, carrying yeah, the baby. I was full fade, snap back, everything. <laughs> like I don't know if people thought I had a tumor or what. Because <laughs> people be like, he go, sir. And I'm just like, oh, okay, then. <laughs> like, I wish I had the phone out so I could put it in the camera. But yeah. people would think that I was a dude still. So it was just like, I had blew up and everything. My face was swollen, my nose was thick, yeah. everything. But I just went with the flow. Like, so check this out. So did he, 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 how he treat you when you were Oh, crazy? I had the best baby daddy. I had the best. <laughs> you had the best. The best. See, my husband did hair. Yeah. So, around the time when I got pregnant, he went and um, got a job because he, he was an entrepreneur type. 
Yeah. But he went and got a job still doing her. I ain't had to move most. I sat at home every day. Oh. I didn't start back working until I I started back working two weeks into my six weeks because I was just ready to get out of town. Yeah. And he stayed at home and watched him every single day. And he never complained. Damn. Never, never. complained. Mm-mm. It was times when he would be like, you know, he tired of being at home. Stuff like that. But he ne- it just was never like, you need to come home and be with him. Yeah. Like, it was literally time Damn. where that I... Nigga that he ain't doing it now. No. And it was, it was like, it wasn't that I was neglecting my child or anything like that. I think it was more so postpartum and I didn't know. Yeah. Because I would go to work and come home. I would hold him a little bit and I'd put him down. But I would be so tired and exhausted. Oh, yeah. So, I feel like we bond more now and sad to say that his dad is G-O-D-E. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that made me appreciate him a little more as a mother. That's what's so up. So that's why I, he here now. Yeah. Like, if I can't come, if he, he, can't, he can't come, come I can't yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be seeing you. Yeah. He be in your store. <laughs> he, be he be everywhere with you. So, you know what I'm saying? And that's just my life. Yeah. And I just appreciate him. That's what's up. So what happened? What happened to the baby? Well, um, I, he died in car accident. He did? Yeah. It was an altercation with us. Um, And to be real, I was going down the road. He was going down the road. And it ended with him passing away. So it was one of those. It yeah. was all out there. And um, that current night, my phone was actually off, and I didn't even know. So I didn't see the notification till the next morning when I got my phone turned back on. I bet you were hurt. I was told up because people had put out this net. Na- Hold on. People had put out this narrative about me that wasn't true. What the narrative was? Like he ran them off or something? Uh, I was the one who did. Yeah. Ain't no mother. F- mm-hmm. They had that in the, the paper. In they the paper? It, yeah. In the. And well, not in the actual paper, but online. You know how oh, they yeah, do the yeah, blog. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Saying that it was an altercation and all that, this and that. But the thing of it is, and I know God don't make no mistakes, but this started in Hattiesburg. If Hattiesburg was doing their job, their police department, my husband would have never been had time to come find me or wherever I was. So when people put that narrative out, it broke me. It told me up. Yeah. But I was more so sad about the narrative than him being gone because I'm an understanding person. Because even before him, I lost my dad. I lost my grandma. Yeah. I almost lost my mom when I was younger as well. My mom is breast cancer survivor. So yeah. I've already been near death. Yeah. I've seen it. So that's what really told me up. Because for y'all to see how we work as a couple, why would you ever think that I'd do something like that to somebody I love? Yeah. It's crazy. But after that, that shit made me, being with him made me realize it's okay to be you. That's why I act the way I do now. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about nothing. Ain't ain't nothing nobody can say to me bothers me. I used to be one of those people that every time I felt like somebody was mad at me, I'm always, what can I do to make it better? Fuck out of here. You either going to respect me or the way I am right now, you ain't going to fuck me at all. Get from around me. Yeah. So. So. Th- I ain't gonna say that 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 situation really woke you up. Yeah, it did. It woke it you did. up to it see did. all your fake friends yeah. and all that. Yeah, you yeah. you right. You Even right about now this. Even I shit. sit back and observe how people act towards me and what they do and what they don't do. Yeah. When I break my back, but get what? It's easy for me to walk away from people now because I'm that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah. Say that shit again. Say <laughs> I'm that nigga. <laughs> yeah. She say, "Hey, hey it's on her future shit." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I already. I just, you know. I already shit. Go might well. She <laughs> might well go with the flow. So check today, I be seeing another young lady in your um ah. Instagram and stuff like that. Like that's your that's your new that's your yeah, new that's woman. My, that's my fiance. Oh Vince. yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, you been, you been do it again. Yeah, it's my I, don't way. I, live, so, I don't got one life. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and you know I'm just leave it to the fullest. Like that's my person though. I've been knowing B since high school. Yeah, I've been trying to get her since high school. I asked her to prom and everything. Oh for real? Yeah. I said, hey, that's how, <laughs> hey, them situations happen like that. I, I yeah. used to call B up a random, like, what you doing? I never cared she had a nigga or not. Yo. I never cared. Oh, I you, just, I you, always, you, you had your eyes on that, you was going to get that. for me. Oh. I don't care what nobody say. Yo. Like, it, we argue, but we, it ain't to the point where I hate you, I don't want you. No. That's my Yo. girl. That girl Yo. got my back. Yo. I, you remember I told you about my job? Yo. My girl held me down the whole time. I got back on my feet now. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah, you you don't find out, you too many li- like Now this. you looking out for her, making sure yeah. she good. Yeah, this shit show on me. You can look at look, look at the visuals of me from then to now. Yeah. Even in my last relationship or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I don't even hate her. 
I just glad I'm glad you got out the way. Yeah, Yo, look what you at <laughs> now. Look where I'm at now. Look yeah. where you at now. Hey, shit, she, like you said, that shit. You. Yeah, I'm real talk. <laughs> real talk. Real motherfucker like, talk. It, it just teaches you like different life situations. Teaches you that you and all the time you be alone. Be alone. Like I didn't press my old lady into being with me. I just really let her come around. Like I'm her first girlfriend, first girl she ever been with. Oh, for real? Yeah. So how you? So what made? Oh, you so See, you made you made her change. I ain't gonna say you made her change, but make her change. But it's just yeah. more so. Uh, when you find good people and they treat you right, what what you? What, what else you gonna do? Why yeah. why would you leave? Like right. and we been we were friends before anything. I've been knowing her since two thousand and what fourteen. Yeah. To now, like you, you don't really find too many relationships like yeah. nowadays to say that. They been together or been dealing with each other since they were kids. Yeah. Like, you know me, know me. You ain't just somebody that's trying to get to know me. You know me. Yeah. You know what my mama stayed, they, my, your mama stayed, you know type stuff. Yeah. You know? You know me from relaxer day <laughs> <laughs> when I had her. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I just feel like it's just genuine. I really, it's just hey, genuine. That's the best way to be, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Find somebody you love, find somebody you want to be and with. And, and, and get that money. Hey. I already. Uh-uh. Stay back. Yeah. Uh-uh. You know, so but check this out, man. Last week, man, them trail ride was on. I see that you got a trail ride group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last CEO, week, uh, yeah. Chile Arrington. Yeah, yeah. see that? Hey, she, hey, shout out to him. <laughs> hey. Shout out to Chile. <laughs> <laughs> but last week, them trail rides was um, it was they were going a little viral. A statement went viral on Facebook. I want to say a name, but I don't know if he want me to say a oh. name. But he he. He he kind of big on Facebook Who too. Te- uh 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 Terry Bryant. Bryant Terry Terry Bryant. He got uh, so many. He yeah, got so many Facebook. You you if you yeah, you probably I, don't I ran, probably ran across. Get ran across, but man, shout know. out to that guy though, yeah, man. He funny here. Shout out to him. <laughs> but he was like, uh, he ain't know y'all had to pay dues in trail yeah. rides. See, dudes go to things. See, everybody want to have a party. Everybody want these big ass people come down here, have free shit, have free food, have free jumpers, all that, four wheel all that. You have where you think the money come from? You think the CEO paying? Yeah. No, you gonna we gonna do this as a group, as a collective, and save our money. That's why people only have those big annual parties. Cause think about being around a year, a year, um, maybe every month sending twenty dollars, or you got twenty plus members or ten. Yeah. That money adds up and it accumulates. So that give you time and money to do a big ass party when it's your time to shine. Yeah. You don't po- me personally back in the day when my folks used my sister folks and my folks used to have a trail ride, everything was free. Yeah. All that paying to get in at the gate, you won't have to have it if you pay dues. Yeah. That shit made people fuck with you more. All that, uh, you can't have this, you can't have that. Five dollars for a bottle. Five dollars for me to walk around with a bottle in in the field. Yeah. That's crazy. I pay to get in, but me to pay to bring a bottle outside, bitch, I can do this on my porch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like it's kind of like paying, you know, paying, paying your dues. Yeah. Like, I'm just, it just is what it is. You pay dues at church, but what is um offering? Offering, yeah. You ain't yeah. asking where that money going. <laughs> so yeah. it's kind of like, why not invest into you, something that you supposedly supposed to love? Yeah. That's just like paying for shirts. You don't want to pay for a shirt. If you ain't got the money for the shirt, then that come out your dues. Oh, that's how y'all do that, it. Well, that's how we do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's how y'all do yeah. it. we like for everybody to look presentable. Yeah. So... If a, it, uh, just, let's say, just like today, I'm missing a trail ride. Yeah. But I already bought my shirt. If I couldn't buy my shirt, if I said I wanted it, they probably would have bought it for me. For me, because it's coming out the Because it's coming out my that's dudes. Good. So, that's dudes. why it's so good. Yeah. That's why it's good to do dudes. You Everybody pay dudes. Come on, man. man. We're zero out of zero. People just thought, people just like, man, why they paying dudes? You know what I'm saying? They don't be paying. See, that's why you had to get a CEO that you can trust. Yeah, because. See, my CEO don't touch no money. My, see, it's my best friend, but when it's my CEO, that's my CEO. Yeah. Just like I'm president. When I'm president, I'm president. When I'm her best friend, I'm her best friend. We separate the two. Yeah. We don't let that come in between. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be people. That's just like we had. You miss I had a book. money, yeah. Yeah. I had a book, and she came to support me. And do you know no people didn't allow her to win best dress because they said I was on the fly? Chile and, and me don't have shit to do with each other. Yeah. If I got a book and it's my book, yeah. and she there to support, but she's still CEO. That's how it go. So if it take for if if it take for two or five people to just be in our group, that's what it's gonna be. Cause we done had people complain about dudes. 
Yeah. And wonder where it go. If you don't want to pay for nothing, why be in some? Why be in some? You right. You think it gonna come out the earth? This shit, boots cost about three hundred dollars. They sell if they yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, real cowboy boots. Real hell. cowboy boots. So I can put these four behind my jeans. I don't care nothing yeah. about it. Cause I can slap on a pair of boots. They're gonna they gonna come cost way more. Mm-hmm. I don't be real caring talk. about it. <laughs> real talk. Real goddamn talk. So in the, you like doing the trail ride? You know and stuff I like, like that. I like trail riding because it's freedom. Yeah. I can get out here and be drunk, and ain't nobody gonna bother me. I can lay out here in the gray, ain't nobody gonna bother me. Yeah. And cause get what people gonna make come make sure I'm okay and they know who I am. Yeah. So they know not to play with me like that. That's anybody though. I I don't know why people even go to trail ride to try to shoot. I never understood that. that man, it's kids out here. Yeah. I'm trying to have a good time. Of course, words get paid for top shit out there. Yeah. I just call it. I just call it drunk talk. Yeah, but shoot, like that drinking. That's, yeah. That's kind of extreme for me. Yeah. So when they get to doing all that, I some trail rides I just try to stay from cause they don't mean me no good. Yeah. And I just got be having bad feelings about it. I read it, I read it. But let, what, so what's next for social media for you? You know um, what I'm saying? Cause right, like now you like I said yeah. at the beginning, you you big with social media. Like you you wanna uh, be honest on, on some real shit. You wanna Mississippi biggest influencers. You think so? Like ain't nobody else doing it bigger than you. Like I'm you one of the biggest. It. We probably got some doing it, but you one of the biggest. A hundred and 133 followers and all that, that's influencer shit. Yeah. I but, respect you for giving me my flowers. Like, real shit? some people don't. Yeah. Like, some people just look at this shit like it's normal. But, and that's where, what I was telling you earlier with my job, that's where this filing is. Like, people want me to post every day, but I can't do that. Like, I got to figure out a way that I'm going to live and survive outside of this social media stuff. So, just like you said earlier, I'm a normal person just like everybody else. Yeah. But it takes support. It yeah. takes a lot of support, and a lot of people don't see that. Like, y'all want me to get in my car and drive up and down the road? Hell, it takes about $40 to do that. <laughs> and I got shirts out right now, 30 of them, that 60 been bought, when 26 people can spend $60, and I can drive up and down the highway back and forth all goddamn day. Yeah. But that's where reality sets in. That's why I'm such a realist when it comes to me, because I ain't going to sugarcoat nothing. I struggle just like everybody else. But well, guess what? I'm a struggle, but I'm going to get some money, too. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I want to be an entrepreneur, and that's what my mind is set on now. And if the social media shit don't intertwine with it, some going to have to go, and it ain't going to be the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, therefore, my next step is to grow my YouTube, well, me and my, my fiancé's YouTube, and to probably, you know, pretty much push my clothing line and my grills. Yeah. Like, that's where my heart is right now. That's why I ain't trying to give up. And it, these past couple of days, I've been in a little dark space about it, little gray areas, because I just feel like, damn, it be, what, 3,000 folks liking a video, yeah. but it's only 26 shirts that I got left. Yeah. So it's kind of like, damn, y'all say y'all fuck with me, but do y'all really fuck with me? Fuck with me yeah. Y'all inboxing me all day, every day, talking about, can you do this song? Can you do this song? Can you do this? Well, damn, what my what a real love gonna show? Man, Charles, that oh, you want a song? Oh, yeah. Ten dollars oh, a song. Yeah, yeah, Shit. that's what it is. a song. It is. Yeah. It is. But them requests, I don't even reply to them. I go if I do, I go on your page to see what what things that you can do for me, and I say, well, hey, cause you put me up on game, I I got the song. Oh nah, smart move. Yeah, smart business move. Cause if you can't do shit for me, I can't do shit for you. Already, <laughs> entrepreneur yeah. shit. Entrepreneur <laughs> shit. She says she won't be an entrepreneur. Yeah. Entrepreneur shit yeah. right there. All right. <laughs> well, check this out. Check this out. All right. After um, with the family. Now, we, we this this last thing I'm going to get into with family. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I see it on you that you loving and all that. Like, what's next for you and your family? Man, my mom been working at New You saying, like. Yeah, everything, everything. Just family, period. Well, we all got them dreams of getting our mama house. Yeah. But I just feel like more so. I watched my mom go through so much. I literally got three younger um, brothers. Yeah. But they really my little cousins. But yeah. my mama adopted them. Yeah. So if something was to happen to my mama, I take the responsibility of having them. Yeah. And God forbid anything happen to her, but I want to give my mama with everything she want before she clock out. Yeah. I think about it all, all, every day, all day, because it, it takes a woman, for a woman to, I wouldn't say I had the, the worst life, but, it takes balance. Even though I'm 26, I feel like it takes balance to have a child and not have their dad in their life. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, because my mama was married to my dad. So yeah. you, she lost her husband. So we in the same footsteps, you know. Even though if they were divorced or not, that still was a person she shared a child with. Yeah. So when I look at my mama, I see me. Regardless if I'm a child, I look, I, I'm look. i looking at myself. Yeah. So I want to give my mama the, the you know, shit, I want to buy my mama a house. That's I'm sure. sick of my mama being out south. Yeah. I'm sick of it. My mama been, been at Nissan since it practically opened. I'm sick of it. Yeah. I got an older sister. You know, my mama said she older than me, but my little, my little sister got a little girl. I want my niece to be stable somewhere in a big ass house. Yeah. Th- these are the things that I want and desire. Yeah. And I'm gonna have. Gonna have, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like I had seen a post and it was so crazy. It was one house over here, one house over here, and one house over there. That's the type of stuff I'm looking at right yeah. now. Like, I just more so want to get my family out of Mississippi. Yeah. Like, I want to be able to call my mama and say, or my sister and say, come on, let's get on the plane. Then I, on top of that, I got more siblings on my daddy's side. Yeah, I already, other yeah, I already know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, my brother is a chef. I want to be able to get my brother a, a, a fucking food truck. Yeah. Or my sister like to smoke. Hell, I want to send you a pound every now and then. <laughs> you know, I got Yo. nieces and nephews that's really like balling out here. Twins at that. You know, type shit. I want to do everything. Yeah. Until my lips are blue. Like, I want to be able to send my niece and nephew $100 here, $100 here. Yeah. I know $20 no, lame ass shit. Nobody want to spend it Already. Well, yeah, I'm glad you came and talked with me today, man. Like, yeah. man, I'm, <laughs> hey. Hey man, the hey man, shout out. Yeah, room, hey, I really I, appreciate it, man. Hey you man, don't know all the time. <laughs> but look, it's a little segment I want to try. You know what I'm saying? If people be coming and stuff like that, I was yeah. gonna look up there and see the comments and stuff like that. But check this out. Somebody said, "Why don't you want to host? I mean, why uh, try to host karaoke night?" See, this is the thing, and I don't mean to throw no shade on nobody, but see the people down here. In Jackson, yeah, they don't like to do right. Like, I don't mind. Like how on the money side? The huh? money side. Yeah, I don't. I really be breaking folks off. I had a gig homecoming. I'm not gonna say the place. Yeah, I'm just gonna say what happened. Yeah, I only told these folks to give me three hundred dollars. Squirrel, it's one k to book me. That's just my booking fee. That's it. They don't. Um, that doesn't. Add up with the room and everything else, but me being here home, yeah, I charged these folks three hundred dollars. These folks gave me one hundred fifty dollars ahead of time in the night of claim they were looking for me. When which y'all got y'all didn't let me bring no bottle in. Oh, y'all sat me in a spot with a fucking receipt paper talking about reserve. It just more so of if you appreciate your people, act like because I ain't like, got to fucking come out here. Oh. I don't care about no money because I, Jackson, I, I love man, I love Jackson, man, but sometimes Jackson gotta do it better. And it be the get, the get money niggas. Like you what's one hundred and fifty dollars to you? Yo, and, and you got all these people coming in here to see me. Yo, but you can't give me a hundred my money. Yo, but from now on, everything gonna be on black and white. You gonna have to. I let that shit go. Gonna have to. I got more than that. <laughs> yeah, but it's just more so. Oh, uh, how could you do your own people like that? Yeah, and that's people problem here in Jackson. That's why I don't want to host none. If a person come at me with five hundred dollars more, I don't care. I will host, but it's gonna be five hundred or more. Yeah. Ain't no more three hundred. Cause y'all play with me. It only take one person to fuck up the whole. Fuck up the, the whole, whole shindy tree. on everything. The whole, the whole thing. <laughs> I'm already conservative. You know, conservative as it is. I don't like being outside. Yeah. And a lot of people think I'm just a party person. I'm not. Yeah. I'm a counselor. We we shell. Yeah. So if the money talking, hell, I'm talking too. Let's I do already, it. I already. Y'all heard her. Make sure y'all pay her when y'all book her. Make sure y'all pay her when y'all book her. Did. Shout out to my best friend right there. I told you. And they go bad if I, look, I, I took told the bottle in anyway. Had a hole in my coat. <laughs> 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 Big ass Hennessy bottle. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, shout out to shout out to the people that watching. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Shout out to the it, chat. Yeah, hey man, they we, got my old lady right there. Told, <laughs> I ain't see that. I ain't see that. Hey man, we loving this shit, man. But check this out. Appreciate you for coming, man. On God, man. I'm so happy that you came through. Yeah, bro. I'm happy. I On came God, too. man. Scrape like you say, bring the vibes. You brought yeah. the vibes. You know what no. I'm saying? Appreciate all that shit. But before you go, man, let everybody know your Instagram, Facebook, all that shit. What you got coming? Your grills, your shirts, I, whatever. I, 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 
Hey, y'all already know my Facebook, Michaela Phillips. It's M I K A L E A. I know a lot of y'all spell Michaela different. Instagram is Phillips, M I K A L E A. TikTok is Michaela Phillips. As well as, uh, what else do I have? My Twitter. Um, I do have grills. I sell grills. I have shirts. Y'all make sure y'all check the link. If you want a grill, all you got to do is inbox me or text me. It's that simple. Please don't make it hard and make it seem like it's hard to get in contact with me because it's not. If y'all looking for a book, you don't want to book me, just hit me up. 1K or more if you're in the city, 500 or more. Just fuck with the kid the way I fuck with y'all. Y'all say y'all love me, support me. You know, that's all I ask. All it's right. just that. <laughs> Already, man. Chilling with Squirrel, man. Episode four, man. Tune in next Saturday. We lit. We out, man. See y'all next Saturday.